Father God, as we thank you tonight, as I give you glory, give you praise, and give you honor, I thank you, Lord God, for an opportunity to come before you, Lord God, to just say thank you, Father. We come tonight, Lord God, to magnify your wonderful name. We come to tell you that we love you, Lord Jesus, more than anything. Father God, that we would not allow anything to hinder us or stop us, Lord God, from serving you, from praising you, from adoring, giving you glory tonight in the name of Jesus. Now, we're asking, Holy Spirit, as you come in tonight, that you would come and take a hold, take a hold of us and do whatever needs to be done. Shake out anything that's not like you. Unfasten, untie, break and sever whatever needs to be taken care of tonight. Lord God, we know in Holy Spirit that you have all power to do it. And we thank you in advance for moving on our behalf tonight. And we said amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 There is a word in the house tonight if you're taking any notes. The title of tonight's message is Break Every Chain. Oh. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Break Every Chain, Lord. Yes, Lord. Tonight we're talking about freedom tonight in yes, the wonderful Lord. name of cool. Jesus. We're Did talking about it? freedom in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Break Amen. Every Chain. We want the Lord God to do whatever he needs to do tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. I'm going to be wow. in the scripture. Thank you, Lord God. I want you to go to Galatians. <laughs> For right now, Galatians chapter 5. Praise God. Hallelujah. Go to the book of Galatians chapter 5. Hallelujah. We're going to be all over the word tonight. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. I want you to start in Galatians. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You might go visit John's house later on. Yes, Lord. Jesus. St. John a little bit later on tonight. Galatians chapter 5. Hallelujah. When you get there, say amen. 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 Galatians <laughs> chapter 5. Thank you, Lord God. If you need for me to wait, just say wait a minute. You're there. Uh, there's a key verse I want you to get in Galatians chapter 5. And verse number 1. Oh, it says, stand fast. Therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. And do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Oh, that's what we're talking about, about break every chain. If you don't get anything tonight, and understand that Christ has already made you free. Yes, amen. You've already been made free. The price has already been paid. Yes, Your salvation is already paid for. Amen. It's nothing like when you have to go somewhere and it's already paid for. Talk to me. Hallelujah. And the Lord God said that it's already yes, paid for you. That your freedom was already paid for you. But you have been blood bought. In the name of Jesus, no sweat, no tears on your behalf. The Lord God said that I've already paid it all. I've taken care of it all. In the name of Jesus. So I want you to know as you stand tonight on Galatians 5 and 1, Christ has made you free. Thank you, Jesus. And because he's made you free, he's telling us tonight that we need to make sure that, that God said he's going to break every chain. Yes. Anything that would try to hold yes, you back. Chains are restraints. Amen. I'm going to give you just a plain version definition of chains. A chain is a restraint. A chain is something that, that can lock up on your wrist or your hands and it restrains you. A chain can restrain you from moving. Come on. I just want to give you a basic word for chain that means restraint. And the Lord God says that I come to break those restraints. Mm. Anything mm. that's been holding you back, he said, I come to break it tonight. Ooh, Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Anything that's been restraining that's you, keeping you back from your full potential, yes. the Lord God said, I come to break everything. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I don't care whether it's physical, emotional, yes, or spiritual. He said, I come to break everything. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And the word of God in Galatians 5 and 1, he gives us a word of encouragement to say, that do not be entangled with entangled again with the yoke of bondage. I like that right there. Because the Lord God is telling us right here, plain and simple, that you used to be caught up in some stuff. But he's trying to tell you that you have been made free and don't go back to that. Come on, don't go back to a dog like a dog goes back to its vomit. The Lord God said, once I've got you free from that thing, make sure you don't get entangled with those yokes. If I've got delivered you from something, make sure you don't go back. He said it's just like a, a, a sow. That, that, that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's a pig that likes to go back and wallow back in its nest. The Lord God said, once I've washed you clean, don't go back and rolling in the mud. Yes, oh, I'm going to make it nice and plain. The Lord God said, I'm calling you tonight because I'm trying to tell you that you are already made free. Yes. Yes. And if you're made free, why would you want to be bound? Yes. My God, the, 
the body of Christ, as many times as we cry out, Lord God, I want to be free, I want to be free, he's trying to tell us you can remain free if you stop going back to that old stuff. Yes, yes, Lord. Come on now. Preach it, Pastor. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I know we like to reminisce about the good old days. Oh, come on, but some I things that need to stay in there, mm -hmm. in the good old days. Some things need to stay back there. Yeah. You know, we don't need them old relationships. We don't need them old spirits. Right. We don't need that past bondage. Right. We don't need any of that. Oh you know what? Days. See, the enemy likes to oh put you at. Remember that? No, no. I don't remember uh -huh. none of that. Uh -huh. When somebody said, do you remember? I don't know who you're talking Jesus about. Jesus, I don't past. know what you're uh -huh. talking about. You remember oh, when we used to? I don't know. I, that was another person. I don't know who that yes, is. Yes, Lord. Because the Lord God said, I yes, come Lord. tonight to tell you that you need to break every chain. Mm. And that means when individuals start connecting you with your past, you tell them, quick. I, 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 wait a minute, the Lord God has broke me from those chains. Yes, Lord. Well, you remember when you used to, I, I, that, that was another person. It wasn't me. Yes, no, Lord. I, no, 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 no. Yes, I look different, I talk different, I yes, act different, yes, I walk different, I even dress differently. Yes, Lord. Hey, who that person was back then? That's yes, no longer Lord. me because the Lord God said, I come to break every chain yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. No more. And I'm not that person anymore. Yes, Lord. And the Lord God gives us a warning. If you don't remember anything else tonight, Thank remember Lord. Galatians 5 and 1. He said, do not be in Tangled again. Yes. That means that you were wrapped up with that before. He said, and y'all set you free from that. That's not the first time you've gotten free. Yes. All right. yes. Come on now. Oh, we're gonna yes, tell some Lord. truth yes, right. Lord. Amen. Because Amen. you know there's some things that oh, yeah. I don't know how many gonna Preach tell the truth up in the house. Yes. Right? yes. But they got some individuals keep going through deliverance. Jesus. Oh, just stay looking forward. Don't let your neighbor know that it might just be you. Come on now. Just stay looking forward because you know what? Sometimes we keep getting entangled in the same old stuff time and time and time again. And you know the devil got his trap set. Yes, Lord. He's not going to come at you with anything new. He's going to come at you with the same old stuff. He said, work last year. Why won't work this year? Preach it, Pastor. Come on now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. You need to understand that the yes, God Lord. said that you must be free from those entanglements. Ooh. Don't get caught up in that again. Amen. The scripture tells us plainly when it says again, that must mean that you were involved with it before. Amen. That Amen. means you had some, some relationship with it before. Yes. You had a relationship with negativity. Jesus. You had a relationship with low self-esteem. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, come Amen. on now. Amen. You had a relationship with discouragement. Amen. You had a relationship with those things that would keep bringing you low. Oh, come on. Uh -huh. The Lord God says, I'm telling you this year, I come to break every chain. Yes, but you Lord. need to make sure you don't get entangled with that. Amen. Amen. Whenever you see negativity coming your way, run, scatter. Jesus. Run past. Yes, Look, like, start rapid. I, I'm rapidly <laughs> moving. Come on. Yes, now. Yes, don't yes, around yes. those negative people. Yes, because Lord. the Bible tells you once again, don't get entangled with that again. Yes. Because it just takes one, one bad apple to spoil a bunch. The yes, Bible Lord. says a little leaven will destroy the whole loaf. Amen. If Amen. anything you know about baking bread, then you, that'll mess up a good, a good loaf right there. A little leaven will mess up a whole lump. Come on now. And the Lord God is telling us in Galatians 5 that you need to be made free from those things. But I told you as we're going to be moving right along, we're going to also go into the book of John. And John chapter 8, the Lord God, that's St. John. You're going to walk a little bit further into your word. You must understand that the Lord God is telling us that we can be free and break and break some chains. Amen. You can break some chains. Tell your neighbor, I want to break some chains. I want to break some chains. On the other side, I want to break some chains. I want to break some chains. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, We're going to John chapter 8. Hallelujah. Very, very familiar passage. But you must understand that the Lord God said that you can break some chains by operating in some truth. In John chapter 8. Thank you, Lord God. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want you to put your eye on verse number 32. Hallelujah. We're talking about breaking every chain. The word of the Lord God said, and Jesus is speaking. He said, and you shall what know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. I want you to know that that is a key component of breaking some chains of the past. You must learn how to walk in truth. You want to know why most people don't like to come to church? Because they don't want to hear the truth. Preach it, Pastor. Come on now. Amen. A lot of people, they run Amen. from the truth. They're rather a lie than a truth anything. Come on now. But that's why the church houses are not full like they need to be. Because people don't want to hear the truth. You know, anybody that's going to put a mirror up and say, look at your sin. 
sin is sin. You shouldn't be doing that. Nobody wants to be told that they're doing wrong. We're in such this clicking and Instagram and, and picture mode. Everything got to be happy. And happy and that, but nobody want to face the truth of the matter that you messed up from the flow up and you need some deliverance is what you need. Amen. Before you need another snapshot, you need some, you need some yes, deliverance Lord, is what you need. Amen, amen. You need to get set free Preacher from the Twitters amen. and the clicks My and the Jesus. Facebooks and book faces yes, Lord. and Instagram and linked up and link out. Preacher you need to get some amen. freedom amen. in the name amen. of Jesus. But see, you need to know the truth. Amen. You see, most people don't like to know the truth. If you ever clicked on any of those, everybody got something good going on. Uh -huh. Or mm -hmm. they faking it. Amen. Come on now, we're going to tell the truth. Amen. Now, you can't tell me that everybody on there is doing well. Yeah. And that many of times, and I'm not trying to discourage anybody who's on <laughs> those. Lord. I pray that you let the Lord use you on Amen. those. Amen. Amen. Because they, they were intended for good. Amen. Yes. But somebody came and tainted it. Amen. Yes, right? And used it yes. for the enemy's yes. purposes. So don't get caught up in that. Oh. The moment negativity starts coming on there, Change the channel. Yes, Lord. Come on Lord. now. The moment discouragement or the moment gossip starts, cut it off. Yes. You know, a certain look, disconnect is what Amen. you need to do. Amen. Because the Lord God is trying to tell you that you need to understand that Amen. truth will break every chain. Amen. Yes, Lord. You see, whenever you're operating in truth, whenever you're saying this is my sin, own up to it. Yes, Come on Lord. now, that's gonna break some chains. Yes, you don't Lord. mean it, you don't hear many people say, "Okay, this is my weakness. This is where I'm struggling at." Mm -hmm. The Lord God says, "You know that the truth shall set you free." Amen. Amen. Whenever you hear the truth, it will set you free. It'll break off somebody. You know, when you know the truth about a matter, you don't have to be walking around wondering who's gonna tell your business. Mm -hmm. huh? Woo! Because you know the yes, truth, truth will set you free. Amen. Yeah, yes, I'm struggling in that area. Yes, I walk Lord, into, okay. but God is my Amen. God is my supply of all my needs. Thank yes, you, Lord God. God will take care of me. But when you operate in truth, you don't have a reason to hide. You don't operate with that bondage. The word that Jesus was speaking to his disciples, and he was telling them, he said, if you abide in my word, and, and, then, and my word, then you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth. It's one thing to just talk about truth, but you got to know the truth. Truth, knowing it, makes you free. That breaks every chain. You see, the enemy likes to operate in lies and operate in darkness. But the Lord God said, I want you to know the truth. I want you to know the truth about who you're around, who you're dealing with, your situation, your power. Talk to me. Yes, Lord. Amen. You know what? I don't know about you, but I love some truth. Yes, I want to know who's around. I want to know what's around. I want to know. Tell me what's really Amen. going on. And because that gives me some freedom because I can break those chains of, of discouragement. I can break those chains of bondage yes, if I know the truth of the matter. Amen. I can Amen. break some things that I couldn't break before. Amen. But truth is powerful. Amen. That's why I'm going to tell you that the Lord got to you must know the truth and the truth will do what? Set yes, you free. Really. He said in verse number 36, looking at John 8 and 36, he said, Therefore, if you know the Son, the Son makes you free, yes. and you shall be what? Free, free indeed. indeed. That's why we need to know our have a relationship with the Father, because when you have a relationship with the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, He makes you free. Ooh. He makes you so free. I'm here to tell you, you know what, as children of God, as we're operating today on this Independence Day, that we are free. I, I, you know what, I almost entitled this message, I'm Independent to be dependent. <laughs> I'm independent to be dependent. Wow. Like, oh, wait a minute. I'm independent. I'm free. I can do what I can to do, but I'm independent, but yet I'm dependent. I'm dependent upon the Holy Ghost. Yes. I'm dependent upon Him. I don't move. I don't do anything. I don't care if you look at me funny or straight. I'm not going to do anything Amen. Amen. without being dependent upon the yes, Holy Lord. Ghost. You know, like, well, who you got to check with? The Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, I need Lord. to make sure yes. if he's okay. So I'm independent because I'm dependent. Amen. You see, and because I'm so free, I'm free, but I'm bound. Come on now. Yes, yes. I choose to be bound. bound. I choose not to go and not to do. Yes. Not because man tells me to, because I have a father oh, that yes. I have to oh, reference and respect. Yes. And I want you to know oh, that makes me free. Do you realize people that are really free? You can come and go, you know. You come and go as you please. People are like, well, you're so free, but why don't you do certain things? Because I'm free to do it. But I choose not to do it. Amen. Preach it, Pastor. That's a joy right there. That's what I understand. That's what I'm doing. I'm free to do it, but I choose not to do it. That's right. Surely enough, y'all work hard. Uh, you, yes, know what? you work hard. Yes. You didn't tell me. You don't think you just need a little something to relax you? Jesus, no. Nobody's going to know about <laughs> no. 
I'm free to do it, but I choose <laughs> not to do it. That's the power in there. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. The Apostle That's Paul, good, he spoke, right. it, spoke it well. He said, I'm a bond servant for Christ. Yes. Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not bound because man has me bound. Mm -hmm. I choose to be bound. Yes. I choose to make my body a living sacrifice yes. unto the Lord. I choose not to do certain things or go any place or, yes. or, or take my body. Not because yes. anybody, yes. because I'm just that free. I choose to be bound. Yes. There's some power right there. Yes. It's almost like I have restrictions. I have restrictions that are, that, that are really not there, but they're, they're God restrictions. Mm -hmm. You know, isn't that something where the Lord God says, this is my holy area right here. Amen. Amen. I don't know about Amen. you, but I'm like not going to let anybody mess up my uh -huh. flow with the Holy Amen. Ghost. Amen. I'm not going to mess up Amen. my connection for a yes, little bit Lord. of pleasure. Jesus. Oh, oh. Oh, right, right, right. So you can forget Say that. that. In the name of, they got a lot right. of that. You know, that. It's tight, but it's right. That's right. Yes, I want you to know we got a lot of believers that they Preach mess that. up their flow. Just for a little step on the other side. Uh -huh. Come on now, just a little. I want to ride the fence. Just you know, a little. The Bible one. tells you, you need to choose you this day whom you're going to serve. Amen. You're going to serve the Lord, Amen. serve the Lord. You're going to serve Baal, serve Baal. Amen. But whatever you're going to do, do it well. Amen. <laughs> Come on now, the name of whatever you're going to do. I love it. That's what Joshua said. That that's for me and my house. Yes, we're yes. going to serve the Lord. So it's letting them know. So whatever you're going to do, the Bible tells us, oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, the Bible Jesus. tells us in the book of Revelation that you know what? That you're either hot nor cold. He said, lukewarm. I will spill you out of my mouth. Yes. So if you want to just operate, I just want I want to praise him a little bit and I want to pardon him. Mm -hmm. Lord God says you're called yes. lukewarm. I read you Jesus. on fire or cold yes. as an iceberg. Yes. But you know what? God would rather honor the cold as an iceberg than then somebody playing around in lukewarm. Because uh -uh. right. yes. no, he right. said that means that you're like double minded. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Unstable in all Amen. your ways. You're tossed and turned yes. by the winds of the way. I think I, I don't. I think oh, I'm out. Oh, let your yay be a yay. Your yay be a yay. Yeah. Let your yeah. yay be a yeah. yay. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Oh, but I want you to know that the Lord God said that you need to be free. That that's an eye area that you can have your freedom. I'm going somewhere tonight. If you just stay with me, so go turn with me to Psalms 107. It's about to bless you. In Psalms 107, the Lord God is talking about some change. Woo, glory to God. Psalms 107. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. That's a beautiful psalm. Uh, I don't know if you've ever read it. It's a psalm of deliverance. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. We're talking about breaking every chain. And Psalms 107, I'm going to be beginning. I want to read up until verse number 8. If you Just kind of bear with me just a little bit. The word of the Lord God said in Psalms 107, beginning at verse number 1, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy will endure us forever. He said, Let the redeem of the Lord was so. Hey, no. Whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy Amen. and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. They found no city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty. Their souls fainted in them. And they cried out. That's a note you need to pay attention to. And they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. And he did what delivered them out of all their distresses. And he held and he led them forth by the right way that they might go to the city for a dwelling place. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works to the children of men. Pause right there. I want you to go, drop all the way down. Look at verse number 14, 13, I should say. Thank you, Lord God. Are you there? Amen. He said, then they cried out. There's another point. They cried out to the Lord in their what trouble? And he saved them out of their distress. And he brought them out of darkness, of the shadow of death. And he did what? And broke their chains in pieces. Yes, hallelujah. Jesus. The Lord God said, I come to Thank break every Lord. chain. He said, I come Thank to break Lord. every chain. You, you must understand that God said, I can break your chain, but you must come crying out unto me. He said, you got to really want to be yes, set free Lord. from them things. Yes. You got to really want to be delivered from certain things. You got to really want to get out of that sin. You got to really want to get out of wallowing around in the mess and in the trouble. The Lord God said, he said, I will deliver them out of their trouble. He said, I broke their chains into what? Into pieces. Yes. The Lord God said, everything that you've been going through, the Lord God said, I can break it. Ooh, I can man. break that yes. sin. Yes. I can break those demons. I can break those spirits. Yes. I can even break sickness. Come on. Yes, God. Lord. He can oh, break every man. chain. He can break every chain. God. He said he's able to do it. He's able 
called to do. You're like a winner yes, because, Lord. yes, a chain, a, a look, sickness is a chain too. Yes, Lord. It's a restraint. Yes, it holds you back from doing the yes, things that you would yes, talk yes, about. Lord. Sickness is a restraint. Yep. Just like sin is a restraint. Sin will stop you from doing the things that you need to do. Come on now. Amen. And it will stop you from going to places that you need to go. Amen. Uh, demons in your life is a restraint too. Yes, yes, Lord. You're like, well, I don't have a demon. I, uh, I, got, to, I got to be careful now. Yes, Lord. You got to be careful when you say, I don't have a demon. Oh, well, you may wait a minute now. Yes, because some things, if you can't break in a demon, it might be that you have a demon that's Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. It's called, you're like, we're talking about not just an addiction or something. It's something that you've been trying and trying and trying to get set free from it might be because there's a demon attached to it okay. oh yeah we're not afraid of demons Jesus. and then the little foot so the Lord, right. they're already right. under your feet Amen. Amen. in the Amen. name of Jesus said I come to set the captives Amen. free yes, did he not say that this is a that this is the spirit of the Lord is upon me I said I come to set the captives Amen. free yes, I come Lord. to break the chains yes, yes, come on now you yes, must Lord. understand that the Lord God said that you can be set free that he can break those chains he can break the chain of discouragement Amen. he can break the chain of low self esteem yes, he can Lord. break the chain of fear break the chain of yes, anger Lord, break the chain of disappointment break those yes, chains. he can break every restraint you must understand that the lord god yes, said lord. that i come to break those chains but you must learn Thank to what? cry out yes lord you've got to come to the lord with your whole heart and said lord god it is our father he said that they were in trouble i don't know about you but at times people of god we get in trouble amen, we amen. get in trouble amen. you know it's not that we're looking for but trouble always come knocking always, always. hallelujah yeah. you're not looking for it as an unwanted guest always. just when things are going well you get a knock at the door oh. and lo and behold trouble stand there grinning oh. hello uh -huh. you're like my god you don't even want to the first so thing you want to do is slam the door Jesus. In yes. but i'm going to tell you trouble has a way of getting in don't it yes. it has a way of getting in even if you didn't let it in Yes. You're like, a, you're, don't get yes. me started. Yes. You know, like, sometimes you have bugs, so we're going to preach this. Yes, Lord. Lord. And you're like, yeah, I know I took care of that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I know, and all of a sudden, it did, Mary. I, I now, how did I get in the house? Mm -hmm. I didn't let it in. Mm -hmm. Just like trouble. Amen. You never let it in, but somehow yes, or some way, it made it in. Yes. Yes. And the Lord God says, I come to set you free from it. Amen. Amen. He said, I come to break Amen. those chains. Amen. You're like, well, Lord God, what is connecting me to that? Help he me, said, Lord. first and foremost, he said, I'm going to reveal some truth to you. Yes, Lord. Don't you like, the Lord God, and most people, I told you, most people don't want to yes, hear Lord. that. What is the truth? Lord God, I have a problem with my mouth. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that's the truth. I have a problem <laughs> with anger, Lord God. I have a problem with bitterness. I have a problem with it. You know, that's the truth. Whenever you get that truth done in your spirit, man, you you don't have a problem because the Lord God said, I can break that yes, chain. Lord. But first and foremost, you got to operate in some truth. Amen. You got to operate and say that, you know what, Lord, I got a problem with money. Amen. Uh, he said that I, I have trouble trying to save it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't yes, know. Yes. Lord, help me. Oh, yes, come on Lord. now. Preacher, but see, that's the truth. Yes. But see, if you can, yes. you can get some truth in the matter, the Lord God yes. I can set you free from that. Yes. But if you're the, oh, yeah, I can save, you can barely save $5. All right, now. Amen. The Preach moment you get your hand, it's already Preach gone. You didn't spend it before you got it. Oh, yeah. He said, if somebody owe me $5, but I'm going to bet. You already didn't spend it. Amen. Oh, yeah. But see, you got to know the truth about yourself. You got to understand, if you have a problem with anger, just say, Lord, I have a problem with anger. Lord God, it doesn't take much. I got a problem with bitterness. Mm -hmm. Lord God, I'm bitter. I'm, I'm so bitter. I, I'm disturbed. Jesus. Every time I see somebody with something new, I get mad. Jesus. Come on now. That's bitterness. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Uh -huh, People who uh -huh. deal with bitterness, they don't like wow. nobody to have anything good. Jesus. Lord, have mercy. I don't know if you've been around somebody who's been bitter. I don't care how good you can have it. They still... Mm. You know, you can have it. I mean, just be so. But they're bitter, not because not because that you have it. Just the idea that you got something that they thought, think that you shouldn't have. They're just bitter about it. Maybe they lost their spouse. My and God. you have yours. Oh Ooh, Jesus. Jesus. Maybe you have Preach something that they wanted. Ooh, maybe you have the job that they wanted. Or maybe more or less, they got the raise and you didn't. Oh, my God. Now, it's not, you're not even on the same job. You're different field. But yet, you got an increase. They didn't. They bitter. They can't. But that's a spirit of bitterness. Jesus. But when you admit, you said, Lord God, I'm bitter. Yeah. I can't sing the words. The Bible says rejoice with them that rejoice. rejoice. Yes. Amen. And if you got a problem with you, they're up there jumping and showing you like, oh, Amen. <laughs> that might be just bitter. Talk to Amen. me now. Yes. That Amen. might be just bitter. Amen. And you're like, Lord God, okay, I have some truth, Lord God. I want to be set free. Amen. I need for you to break this chain of bitterness. Yes. But I'm coming to you, Lord God. I'm bitter in this matter. Yes. I'm the oh, spirit of discouragement. Same way, low self-esteem. Talk to me now. Yes. Uh -huh. Come on now. Right. You can't seem to be, they're advancing. You're like, I don't know. I, 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 oh, Lord. Yeah, every time that you get to do, God says, go ahead and possess the land. Mm -hmm. Lord, I don't know. Oh, oh. Should I go? Should I take? Preach you know, it, Pastor. Amen. Over that truth, or that Amen. spirit of low self-esteem. Yes, Lord. Lord. God says, 
to step forth step and possess forward. the land. Amen. Amen. He said, walk Amen. by faith and not by sight. Yes, Lord. He said, what do you like? Low self-esteem when I have you doing this. You're, you're, but no, you're not even walking. You're just like this. Like mm -hmm. you're about to. I'm about mm -hmm. to. I'm about to. I'm about, uh, uh, this time up for about to. The Lord God said, I come to break those chains Thank of you, low self-esteem. The Lord Thank God said, Lord. he said, if you prayed about it and I go before you, he said, even if you fall forward, I still got you. Jesus. Come on. Yes. Yes. That's what you're going to say. That's how you break the chain. Yes, Lord. You break the chain because you're like, all right, Lord, I'm coming before you. That low self-esteem yes, has got to go. The Lord God, that I'm your daughter, I have victory. Amen. And that Amen. I am your, I'm your son, I have victory. Yes, and Lord, Lord God, everything that my hands find to do is going to give you glory. Yes, Lord. That's how you break that yes, under the low self-esteem. Because see, low self-esteem was saying, you, you're not good at doing that. Jesus. You're not smart at doing that. Mm -hmm, you're not mm -hmm. well at, But look, when you break that, when God breaks that chain, Lord. when you say, to him, Lord God, I need deliverance in that area. Yes, Lord. I need for you to break those chains. All of a sudden, the Lord God says, you'll start pulling up scripture. Whatever my hands find to do. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Lord God, that I'm blessed. Everything that I touch will, will be prosper. blessed. In the yes, name Lord. of Jesus. Lord God, you said I speak life. Uh, in the yes, name of Lord. Life is strong. Yes, Lord. My hands, in the name Lord of God. Jesus. Every idea I lay hands upon myself. Yes, Lord. And life is flowing in the name of That's how you break those chains. I'm going somewhere tonight. Amen. The Amen. Lord God says that you must understand that he wants you to be free. That you got to learn how to break those chains. And tonight, the Lord God said he wants to break those chains off of your mind, off of your body, off of your spirit, man. He wants to break every restraint that has ever held you back. Amen. As you're sitting here today, the Lord God says he want to break the restraint, break those lies off of you. Amen. Come on, yes, Amen. Lord. Thank you, Lord God. You're no longer. I told you, he said, yes, I come Lord. to break every chain. Amen. Thank you. Yes, Lord. There were some things that have followed you even into this very day. Yes, Jesus. Lord. Wherever you move it, move with you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know about you, but some demons oh, travel across Maybe. state lines. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, They're not Lord. afraid of state line. Matter of fact, they bring them to right now. But the Lord God said he can break every chain. Yes, Lord. He can yeah. break those things that no matter what was following you, the Lord God said that he's about to break yeah. some chains. Yeah. Somebody Thank you. That, that, that mindset when people saw you coming, they would all automatically say, Maybe from your generate, look, there they go, so and so. I remember her from there. The Lord God said, I'm about to break right everything. Whenever they see you, they're going to say, Who is that? All right. Who is that mighty woman of God? All right. Who is that mighty woman of God? I don't even. Man, is that yes, who I. Is that who I. The Lord God said that's how he's going to break every chain. Yes, that people won't even recognize you. Right, that you're gonna, he said, matter of fact, I told you I had you, some of you hidden <laughs> under rail. Jesus. Oh, yes, God. He said, I had you covered for such a time. He said, but I come to break those chains yes. off of you. You're going to have a new wall. Yes,
Mason C. 